Hello and thanks for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. If you're returning, thanks. It means a lot. Today we're looking back at the Honda Pilot 3.5 liter J series VTEC motor. We're going to do an oil change on it and it's only going to require two tools. Super simple. You don't even have to take the car up in the air. So you've got the trusty old 17 millimeter Craftsman wrench there. So you need a 17 millimeter wrench or socket and ratchet. Some rags are nice to have. Not required though, if you're careful. And a drip pan. You're obviously gonna need your oil products. That's a Fram filter I use, pretty good filters. Valvoline American Oil Synthetic. High mileage, this truck has got 200,000 miles on it. And Lucas High Mileage Oil Stabilizer. Been using it for a long time. All these products are pretty good. I'm not sponsored by anybody. Valvoline, Fram, Lucas, hint, hint. But we're going to get into the oil change. The first thing that we want to do for clarity here. I like to remove the cover. So you're going to take these three twist lock plastic clips and just twist them to the left. Then you go ahead and just pull the entire cover assembly off and set it back. That way you have access or clear access to the dipstick area and the oil cover, oil cap. So you take this off. Usually it's tight. I don't put it on so tight. When I go back on, I just kind of snug it and leave it. People like to crank it on there. So if you do, you might have to take a little pliers and twist it off, but I like to twist this, take it off, set it there and just pull up the dipstick and just leave everything like that. So we'll go underneath and set the drip pan up and see where the drain plug is. Okay, we're at the passenger side wheel. And if you come right underneath here, you'll see the oil filter right there. And slightly back is the oil pan drain plug, 17 millimeter. So if you just come right from the oil filter on the passenger side behind the wheel, like I said, you can leave the wheel on. That's the passenger side wheel. Just come underneath, find the oil filter, and then straight directly in line about uh, a quarter away under the car, you'll see the drain plug for the oil pan. And that's how it looks. It's aluminum. Take that one out and let it drain into your drip pan. Okay, as the oil is draining out of the oil pan, you can come over to the filter and take it off. I like to stuff a rag right at the top of the controller arm on the subframe to prevent any oil from splashing back and having to clean it up so much. So we'll take the filter off and let the filter drain. All right, we got the oil filter off. We cleaned everything up. Just wipe off any excess oil spill. Spin the oil filter back on there. The object of the game is to get it on there snug but don't over tighten it to where it's a pain to get it off again. So once the gasket surface makes contact, about a three quarters of a turn more and that's it. I like to pre-fill these filters because they are uh, vertical and you take a little bit of fresh engine oil and you lubricate that O-ring on the filter uh, assembly there. Let's get it screwed back on. All right, the oil filter's back in place. Now it's time to put the drain plug back in. Here's the drain plug, and if you have a messed up crush washer, go ahead and replace it. It's cheap. If you don't replace it, it'll end up leaking. I replaced this one the last oil change, so it's pretty decent. I'm going to go ahead and reuse it. We'll get that on, and again, you snug this down and just, you know, just overhand tight, and that's it. See, it's gotten rounded off before because other people have owned it before, and then oil changed on it, but still the OEM original plug. Let's get it back in. All right, we got the drain plug back in. And what I like to do is fill up the oil with the Lucas first and then pour the rest of the oil on top to top it off. So I use a full quart in this and we'll put it down inside the fill area. Okay, after the oil's filled up, 
you want to go and run your car for about 30 seconds and then let it sit for about a minute and recheck your oil level. All right, after you verify your oil level, you can go in and reset the oil service life. And as you can see, the oil is directly in the middle of the hash marks. This car does not burn or leak oil. So that's why I like to keep it or a little above that. Never go over the full line that can cause problems and blow out seals. So we'll go inside and reset the service light now. All right, this is how you reset the oil service life on most Hondas. Turn the key to the ACC on position. You're going to see oil service. Oil life is 5%, service A. Going to go ahead and just hold the trip odometer button down until it starts flashing. Continue to hold. You can release it now. Push it again. And there it is, 100% service life. So that's how you would reset your oil service life on a Honda, newer Honda. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.